In this video, I'll show you how to set up a product as a pre-order on your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. Throughout this video, I'll show you how to create a pre-order product similar to this one here. So as you can see, we've currently got this product on sale up until the release date, right? Because we want to encourage customers to pre-order this product. And then here we've been upfront and then letting them know when this product will be available, okay? So if we click pre-order, we can go through the checkout process and the admin and the customer will be notified of this pre-order product, okay? All throughout the journey, we can see that this is a pre-order product. And again, it's letting customers know when this product will be available. So we can click place order. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, we'll be using the Youth Theme pre-order plugin, okay? So I'll leave a link to this particular blog post on the AOV Open blog. Um, so you can have a look at a few other options as well, right? So maybe you want to try this pre-order plugin instead of the one I'll be using throughout this video. And all the plugins mentioned um, on this post doesn't have an affiliate link. So we get absolutely nothing unless which plugin you choose, right? So with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so to create our pre-order product, we'll be using the YIF pre-order plugin. So we just need to upload the YIF pre-order plugin. So I'm going to go plugins, add new. Okay, so we'll go ahead and configure some general settings. Okay, so for example, we want to enable the pre-order on the front end and then obviously remove the pre-order status from the particular product once the pre-order date has been passed, okay? We can also automatically enable pre-ordering for whenever a product goes out of stock. That could be quite useful. And here as well, we've got some useful option to prevent customers from mixing pre-order products in their basket, okay? So you can just scroll through these settings here. A lot of it's pretty self-explanatory. For example, here we can change the default add to cart text when it's a pre-order um, product. We can customize the availability text on the shop page and product page and even a cart page as well. Okay, so I'm gonna head over to the product page and then we'll go ahead and actually create a pre-order product. Okay, so I'm gonna edit this product here. Okay, and then all we need to do to put this on pre-order is just to tick this option here, okay? And then we'll have this new tab here and then we've got a few options. So for example, we can say this item will go on sale until the 31st of October. We can customize the pre-order label. If there's no date set, we can add a custom label here. So we can set a manual price for this pre-order product or we can give a discount. And then basically this discount will run up until this particular date here, okay? So we can say there's a 20% discount, mm -hmm. for example. Okay, and then we'll save changes. So again, our regular price is $35 and obviously we're putting this product on pre-order. So let's hit update and then let's have a look on the front end. Okay, so we can see that this particular product is on a pre-order and it will be available on this particular date at this particular time here. And there's a 20% discount. So we can add it to our basket. Let's remove this one. And then we can go ahead and check out. One thing to note, so if you did want to limit um, customers to only being able to purchase one pre-order, we can edit this product. And then under inventory, here we can select this option where it says limit purchase to one item per order okay so let's update this let's refresh this page and see if it will allow us to add more than one item okay so it won't let us add another item since we've already got one in our basket then we can check out this particular checkout design is powered by the AOV checkout plugin so i'll leave a link on screen to that particular video showing you how to achieve this so let's just hit place order okay and then when we head over to the dashboard here we can see our pre-order product and then there's a note here informing us when we've set this product to be released. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in a comment box below.